Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we'll be seeing how to disassemble a .NET based DLL or an executable and then patch it accordingly and then assemble it back to the executable or a DLL file. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I have a simple c -sharp program, which is using a library called MyUtils. You could refer to one of my previous videos to see how to create a DLL file using vb.net. I'm using the same DLL here. So if I go to the project add reference browse, you could see I'm using a myutils DLL. Okay. And if you want to see the source code, you could see that this is the source code of the myutils DLL file. And that actually has a class called mathutils and it basically has three functions inside it. And now in the C -sharp program, that is this console application, whichever is written. It is using that DLL and then using that math utils class and then using its corresponding functions to give you the output. So here I'm gonna run it. So you could see that it is adding one and two and giving the output as three. Then it is subtracting two from three and giving the output as one. And then it is multiplying two and three and giving the output as six. It's all expected. So just closing it and the library was written in vb.net and it is actually compiled down to a DLL file. So the beauty of .NET is you can technically write it in any language that you like and it is compiled down to something called Microsoft Intermediate Language, which is similar to the bytecode in Java. And then this intermediate language binary is ran on top of common language runtime that is also .NET specific CLR, which is called CLR common language runtime and the CLR actually translates the Microsoft intermediate language to the corresponding CPU's native code so that it gets executed on the CPU. And that is the reason why you are able to write applications in multiple languages and then use it all together without having any issues when it comes to .NET framework. I'm not going to modify the source code. I just wanted to show you the source code so that you understand how simple it is. Okay. And now we have this program. I'm going to close the source code. And here I actually have the utils.dll, which is actually the output or the DLL, which is generated using the vb.net project and which basically contains the operations like add value, subtract value, and the multiply values methods and all. Now, if you go to the tools, you will see something like command line where you can have developer command prompt or developer PowerShell. Either of them will work. You could go with command prompt. I have it already open here and navigate yourself to the location where, where the DLL is located. In my case, it's located in this location. So I'm going here, doing a DIR. You could see the DLL here. Now you could use a utility called ILDASM. That is IL stands for intermediate language. DASM stands for disassembler. Then you can specify an EXE or a DLL file, which is .NET based. Native DLLs and native binaries will not work here. And now you can see that uh, it is giving you a graph, which actually gives us information about the class that is present inside. Also the functions that is present inside. You could press enter to see the function definition. The code is actually written in Microsoft intermediate language. That is the reason it looks different, but yeah. Here we cannot edit it. So I will close this. Now use the same command slash out and then give the output file name that is myutils.il and now if you give dir you can see there are two new files that got created and what we are interested is in actually myutils.il file now you could use any of your favorite editor to open it i'm just going to open it in notepad for the time being now you could see that this is the decompiled or the disassembled output of the dll file and if you scroll down you can see that this is the functions that we are interested in so this is in the add value function this is the subtract values. This is multiply values function. Okay. And you can see for the addition, it is doing an operation called add. And for the subtraction, it is doing an operation called sub. And then one for the multiplication. So for this example of the demo, I'm going to modify these two functions. That is sub values as well as the multiply values to add the values rather than doing its corresponding operation. So it's going to be very straightforward. I'll just go over here, just replace the subtraction operation with add and the multiply operation with add again and then save go back here you could use another utility called ilasm to assemble it back ilasm and then you can provide the myutils.il file it's going to throw an error 
that is expected because by default it actually tries to assemble it to an exe exe means an executable and when it comes to an executable file unlike a library it should always have a main function as we are assembling back a dll file source code that is actually a library which won't have a main function so it won't have an entry point so it cannot be assembled back to an executable or an exe file so i just wanted to show you that error you could just use slash dll to generate a dll file then give a custom name myutils dot patch dot dll so now it's all successful now if i do dir you could see another new dll popped up there okay i'm gonna go to the explorer that location and i'm gonna rename this dll to vk so if i go over to the project and if i go to build and then rebuild solution you could see it is saying this cannot be found because the dll got renamed to something else and that is expected so it is just to make sure that the changes are working now what i'm going to do is i'll just rename this file to the actual dll okay now if i come here if i do a rebuild it's going to work perfectly fine now if i run the program you could see that the subtraction and the multiplication functions got modified to an add function here you can see the we did not change anything in the source code but you could see that when i am subtracting 3 and 2 it is actually giving me 5 because it's technically adding we modified the dll to do that way so now we technically disassembled a dll file then modified it then we assembled it back so we technically patched the dll file to make it work the way we want hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you